been only gonna take a few, yeah. You came to Tranmere for your first game last year, back again this year. How do you compare the squad you brought this year to the one you had last year in terms of quality and depth? For this I should know which squad I had here last year, I have no idea anymore actually. We probably when, if it was the first game, not a, a lot of players were not involved. So probably all the national players because there was a tournament before, right? So um, I remember when they all came in the USA. So I cannot compare the, the squads, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. I think I was happy for the squad I had today, about the squad I had today. Um, first half a little bit more experience of course, second half with the young players, it looked good. It looked um, as good. Sorry, it looked as good. Um, I think as possible after eight days uh, roundabout training, and um, uh, I've, no, I had really um, enjoyed watching it. First half, it started really well. Then it looked a little bit more stiff. A little bit, a few players were looking a little bit for their role, position, all that stuff. Second half, surprisingly, it was it looks fresher. So that's good. It was more flexible, a little more fluent. And uh, but both halves were good. We scored the goals. Could have scored more. All good. Can we read into anything in terms of how you play tonight or is it no. very much pre-season at the moment? Yeah. Ever, did you ever see that a manager in the first game of the pre-season brought the lineup for the first game of the Premier League? That would be a surprise. No, I have no idea how we will play against Watford actually. So um, a lot of time we have until then, a lot of training sessions we will have. Uh, and they obviously too. Um, no. Lost, oh, and Simon Minnelli and Danny Ward, would they... No, they came later. No, they came later. Danny has a little back problem. He, he, he had to finish training this morning. and it was, But before the game was already clear that Simon and um, Wardy, uh, they came at the uh, 8, that uh, Lois would play. Um, it was clear and um, the other two they should have trained, but Wardy could, couldn't even do that. And just on Mamadou Saka, is he likely to be involved in pre-season? Um, yeah, first of all, he needs to be, he needs to get 100% fit, and then we will see. Last couple of questions, guys. I'm going to take about two more. Okay. Carl, Jürgen, Carl first. Dominic Solanke played again, t uh, played tonight's first game. Um, where do you see him fitting in with the old Offensive. squad? Offensive. Yeah. I mean, is he is he going to be you know, full time with your the first new squad or between the two? Uh, or? He, decide, he decides that himself. But the, the, the plan is so it's uh, obviously he's a young lad, and that means it's a it's a long term project, and so. I have all time in the, in the world if you want, but um, if he if he brings a little bit of rush in and with his development and everything is good. I, I saw a few wonderful signs tonight. Uh, of course, everybody watched. Um, I think in England the U20 um, championship that was fantastic football. So he's an offensive player, he's a really skilled boy. Has to improve, of course, but a lot of things are already really good. The first first touch movements, a lot of things. Well, so it's about him, if you want, and about the situation. But I will not avoid his development. Um, so if, if in a moment when he's strong enough, uh, he's there. And where he's training, uh, training, I would say not that he already decided because it didn't decide for all this, the team. But yes, he will train with us, of course, um, as as often as it makes sense and is possible. And where I play, we will see. Okay, last question, then, Dave. Yeah, Jürgen, just. Um, we know there's plenty of time left in the window, but the fans are nervous. They're seeing your uh, rivals doing a fair amount of business. Have you got a message for them in terms of their nervousness that they, they haven't perhaps seen the additions to the which squad? Rivals, that would have which rivals made business? Well, we've, we've seen City buy players. Uh, oh. We saw Arsenal buy Lacazette this week. We probably bought also players. Didn't well, you bought, bought one uh, plus Solanke. City. Who, was, who bought one plus Solanke? <laughs> <laughs> So it's not my problem, Dominic. It's him. Maybe you can switch the camera up. Um, so and yes, and they and they lost a lot of players, right? I think I heard uh, Man United lost players, got new players. Don't know about Chelsea. Probably I've not, not heard a lot. So why we, if any fans of us think what are the other teams are doing, and why we don't do anything? I can't help. Sorry. Because we cannot buy only players, because other teams buy players. We do our business as good as we can do it, and we are completely in it, and we are convinced about the way we are going. So that's all. But nervous fans, sorry, I cannot. Have, I don't have the right message for this, so I'm not nervous. Maybe that's the right message. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Thank you hear? very much. We'll see. We're well, thank you, Andy. Can we create a bit of space, guys? Plus the lunky. Plus the lunky. That's not nice. Not nervous. Thank you.